doing there, Clint? Hey, pretty good. Just about to finish up the uh, plumbing work for the new heater for the Mini Cooper. Super. You got all the connections and fittings on? Yep, everything's good. Everything's tight. And uh, looks like it's uh, ready to rock and roll. Just need to put some put some water in it. But uh, hey, you want to tell the tell the people how this thing works? Absolutely. All right. Love well, to. Yeah. <clears throat> so we use the original heater core. Uh, these are the fittings that came off of the engine. The engine got hot, heat up the water, and it would flow through here. And you turn on the uh, heater, and it would allow the fan to blow air through there, which heated the compartment or the cabin. So now, <clears throat> since we don't have a way to heat water with an electric motor, we've got a nice little gas heater right here. I guess it's not a gas heater, no, it's, it's electrical electric. heater. <laughs> this is the electrical version. It's got a two-stage heater, so you can you run it completely right off the traction pack. Um, the 12 volts, the house battery, 12 volts just turns on and off the relays. And it heats the, heats the water here, flows through into the heater, back up, our pump pumps it, back into the heater core so it circulates it. So you can turn it on, so if you have a real hot setting and you want to get it really hot, if it's cold yep. out, you can have both of them going at the same time or just run one, so it'll be cooler. It's a great system.